Hi everyone, I'm here at the Christ Episcopal Church in Madison, Indiana with Evelyn Wheeler, who is the rector of the church. Hi Evelyn. Hi Carson. How you Good doing? Morning. I'm doing well, how are you? That's great, I'm doing fine too. Now, we're here to talk about an upcoming event at the church, which mm -hmm. is? The St. Cecilia Festival. Now, Evelyn, could you tell us what exactly the festival is? Well, the festival is a celebration of the arts, and it is something that kind of comes out of the long Episcopal Anglican tradition of support for the arts and the arts community. So we're focused pr particularly on the arts community in Jefferson County, and we feature artists, local artists, and we feel that the arts enrich our community, so it's something that we enjoy doing, but we also enjoy sharing with other people who enjoy the same things. Oh, okay. Now what kind of art are you going to be featuring? Is there a, a sort of theme to these events? There is usually a theme, yes. We've had three already, and we have featured things like creation, praising God, and faith, hope, love. The greatest of these is love, our previous themes. This year our theme is sanctuary. And what made you come up with the idea of sanctuary? What, what made you want to make that the theme of this year? Well, when in, in the spring when we were having our initial meeting for this year's festival, one of the things that was in the news was the question of immigration, and a number of churches were offering physical sanctuary to people who might otherwise be deported, and we just thought that the whole idea of sanctuary was worth investigating. Okay. And investigating through the arts, what have people said about it in the past, what might we be saying about it today? Well, that does sound really cool. Now, what, how are you conducting this? Is it sort of like a church sermon, or how, are you, how is the event going to be laid out? Usually our events do not involve a sermon as such. We will open and close with prayer. So in our opening prayer, we pray for St. Cecilia. Mm. And in our closing prayer, we usually pray for peace and sending people out into the world. And that's all the religion overt religion. But we also, of course, feature religious music. Hymns and psalms are part of what we do. We also ask local artists if they would like to participate. So we're looking forward to having some folk musicians this year, which is, we've had John Sheckler here with Dulcimer in previous years. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, that's really cool. We do, we do a wide range of musical offerings. You know, everything from medieval music written by Hildegard of Bingen to uh, modern contemporary music, uh, music that's specially composed for us by James Stanley, who used to live here, so we still call him a local artist. <laughs> <laughs> music that's performed, obviously, by local people. We have instrumental music and sung music. We have a brass quartet, usually. Uh, last, a couple years ago, we had a jazz trio. We also have uh, dramatic readings, poetry readings. Oh, okay. Usually, um, we've had, last year we had a speech choir, <laughs> which is an interesting experience of, of a text because it's not just a person standing up and reading something. It's a group of people standing up and reading together, playing off each other's voices. It sounds like you guys have a little bit of everything. We have a little bit of everything. Now, we were talking briefly before the interview, and you mentioned that this is simply a walk-in, walk-out sort of situation, correct? The doors are open. Anyone can come. Anyone who's interested in supporting local artists can come. Anyone who is interested in music, <laughs> poetry, art. Which I hope is everybody. Which we hope is everybody. <laughs> and come and support our local people who are doing this out of the love of their hearts. There's no cost to attend the festival. It's free, it's open to the public, anyone can come. They can come and go, although we hope that they come and find what they enjoy and stay. And if anybody wanted to leave a little money behind, that would be all right, but we don't ask admission. Is there anything you'd like to say to anybody? about the event or perhaps just about the art itself? Is there any last words you'd like to give us? We hope you'll come. <laughs> we really hope you'll come. <laughs> and when should they come? When is the event? The event this year will be on no Friday, November 10, beginning at 7.30 p.m. here in the church at 506 Mulberry. It will be followed by a reception. The, re the festival part of it, the performance part of it, will last about 75 minutes, an hour and 15 minutes, and then there's a reception afterwards in our hall behind the church, and anybody can come. 
And if anyone has any questions, is there a contact uh, email or phone number that they should call? They're certainly welcome to call the church office. That number is 812-265-2158. Well, Evelyn, thank you so much for meeting with me and thank you giving us a chance to talk about the event. I'm really excited. I, I'm I think, really excited. We have so much fun with this, and we hope that other people enjoy it as much as we do. I think they will. I think this will be a lot of people's first chance to really get it, mm -hmm. and I hope that when they come, they realize how cool it is. They'll be coming for many more years after that. That sounds like a good plan to me. <laughs> Well, thank you. as always, thank you so much for watching.